My name's Emma Gibbons. I'm an artist living and working in Devon. I make colourful, show-stopping, contemporary works of art using resin, glitter, sprinkles, crystals, and all sorts of mixed media. I'm obsessed with resin. I just, I love it. It's, it's a fascinating medium to work with. I love the fact that you can mould it, sculpt it, create kind of completely new beings out of it. I love the fact it's quite sort of chemical based and ratio based and you have to be quite specific, like it doesn't hold any prisoners. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just, it's a really interesting medium for me and it kind of inspires me to think of new ways to use it. Um, and that's, yeah, that's kind of an endless realm of possibilities. I like that it's colourful and glittery and quite over the top. It's sort of quite dramatic and not something that people have seen before. I think that's the biggest comment I get. It's like, oh, it's really unusual. It's really, it's really different. And that's something that I definitely really value and try and push for. I like the fact that they're not flat wall pieces, that you get to kind of interact with them a little bit more. And I like the fact that they're curious. There's a lot of text in my work. There's a lot of wordplay. I look at street art a lot. You know, you don't need to go very far to see interesting street art. Um, and I think, you know, text in artwork is something we've been doing for years, but I still find it personally really interesting. So consumerism is a really big part of my work and certainly like themes of addiction as well. It's a difficult one because they're very, the pieces themselves are very accessible, they're very colourful, they're bright, they're inviting, but actually it does allow you to explore this deeper level that is to do with society and consumption and addiction and excess, but whilst keeping it kind of pretty and accessible. I've got no lessons to teach anybody, but I mean, certainly the society that we live in is so much driven by, by consumers, by, by, you know, that kind of mentality of more, 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 more all the time. Um, and, and it works, it's, it's how we live and it's what we feed off, but actually it's hugely damaging at the same time. Um, so it, there is definitely an underlying commentary of that, but I haven't got any answers. It's not trying to change your mind, it's not trying to sway you either way, it's literally just saying this is this, think about it. You know, so there is an element of that as well that I just want to kind of make people think about stuff. There's also quite a lot of retro iconography and um, images in my work. A lot of that is because I like it and it keeps me interested. I think there's something quite interesting about our kind of innate calling to our own childhoods and how that can feed into who we are as adults. So there's been lots of Barbie stuff, Pac-Man, recently Space Invaders, just really nice kind of retro imagery that's quite crisp and interesting, sort of remodeled in a, in a consumerist way. Well, I like people who can have fun with their artwork, who, um, who really invest in kind of like the colorful, cheerful nature of it. I like enjoying it, enjoying the process. And I want to do that. That's part for me, that's why I do this, is because I love the creating side of it. It can be whatever you want it to be. Like, you get to decide. No one can make those decisions for you. The people that I have sort of fun with on Instagram, it's people doing cool stuff, people doing stuff out there on the street, just people being creative, wanting to be seen, wanting to be heard, wanting to just like, enjoy life, to live and to create. So like being able to do this professionally for a job is this incredible thing. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin it by being all serious. Like, enjoy it. <laughs>